Look at the hurricane right now. You can see Florence spinning directly over the coast. As Florence made its way ashore, we have been alongside hurricane hunters calculating the storm's every twist and turn. Channel 2's Tony Thomas continues our live severe weather Team 2 coverage in Savannah. Tony, this was no easy ride. We were with Hurricane Hunters as they made their final passes through the storm just before it hit the coastline, getting their final numbers so they know what uh, Florence was looking like. And as we were in the middle of the storm, it was changing around us, changing from its energy from wind to the rainmaker that's now hitting the coast. Air Force Reserve pilots guide the Hercules aircraft directly into the hurricane, while a few feet behind them, Master Sergeant Tom Barnaby preps a drop sonde to send plummeting into the ocean. How important is this? Very important. It's one of the main reasons that we fly, so we can get the pressure in the center of the storm. That's where this measurement is coming from. Naval researchers are also on board, sending buoys into the ocean, testing water temperature, the fuel for the storm, as Florence's eye spins about 80 miles offshore. We are making our first pass through the eye of Florence. As you can see, the wall is started to fill in here. We came in from the southwest, and there wasn't much turbulence at all. Later, leaving the wall, we do get rocked a bit. We fly in a predetermined pattern for several more hours. As the sun sets and the coast prepares for the assault, we take a final turn back into the storm. Explain what you've learned so far on these, this flight. The storm overall has held pretty steady, and it's just now since it's been interacting with the coastline of the Carolinas, it's starting to dwindle a little bit. And the hurricane hunters don't fly through the storms over land, so for now, their work is done. The planes and crews are heading back to their base in Mississippi, prepping for the next storm that's already churning out in the Atlantic. Live in Savannah, Tony Thomas, Channel 2 Action News.